So I just got a new battle box right here. You can see this one is on the small size, which is always extra intriguing to me. It's really big. I always feel like there's like a sleeping bag in there or something. It's just one item is taking up a bunch of room. When it's a small box like this, I always think it's a lot of smaller things. I don't know. We're going to see. But anyway, new month, new box. EDC today is a Spyderco Dyad Jr. You will see a review on this. Just using it very lightly, um, but I didn't want to use it. In this case, we're just cutting some tape here, so no big deal. This knife does have an extreme point on it. So, anyway, that is all. Put that back. We're going to see what's in the box. All right, so I'm going to reveal this. I'm going to reveal it to you first. And then I'll see through the viewfinder what's going on here. I can't tell. I have no idea. All right. <laughs> so. Ooh, ooh. I see a classic knife in here that I used to own, that I no longer own, which I do now again. Put that off to the side here. I don't know if you saw it underneath this paper or not. But it is a knife I'm very familiar with. Okay, so. Mission 39, May 2018. Repair anything. That's a very interesting concept for a theme repair anything I think I like it already all right so I'll leave the knife to the end all right so first thing in here is rip spool field repair kit all right it's a 60 foot and 30 30 pound test braided line this looks like some kind of uh, field sewing kit let me open this and see what it is for sure because I don't really know. Come on, get out of that box, you bugger. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. So it looks like almost like a fishing line. Looks like a, a spider line or braided line in there. There's plastic on it right now, so it doesn't float all over the place. Oh, there's tape. I didn't realize. I thought that was the body, but there's uh, looks like black duct tape around it. Main USA. Exotac rip spool. Interesting, so let's see, let's unscrew this. And, okay, we have a very nice sewing needle right in the middle. That's pretty neat. I like that. Definitely uh, a handy thing. So there's a little cut out there. So the needle, because you could probably add other needles in here too. But I don't know, it depends on the length on them, because it has to fit in there. Yeah, so you got a needle, good thread, and a duct tape spool. That's pretty cool. I know a lot of people use like a, a big pen or something. They'll cut the tube from the pen and wrap duct tape around there, you know, and, and that's totally fine too. But this is an actual, you know, tool dedicated for that job. Pretty cool. I like that. Let's see. Yeah, number 16, sail needle, fire cord lanyard. Oh, okay. So lanyard's got fire cord in it. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, 50 foot of uh, repair tape, and then the 60 foot of 30 pound braided line. I like that a lot. That's actually really neat. That's a cool start. Okay, next thing is free sole shoe and boot repair. So I'm assuming this is just like shoe goo. USA made. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. It's just a urethane formula shoe repair. Yeah, shoe goo, essentially. Different, different brand, but shoe goo is good stuff, and I'm not sure... This is uh, good as well for quick repairs. You know, your heel of your shoes coming apart or something. I don't like it. All right, seam grip field repair kit. We're gonna see how this is different in a second here. Now, looking at this and this, it looks kind of the same, just by the picture. I mean, you could see the shoe examples, right? Dedicated shoe goo, shoe glue, excuse me. And then this one is kind of showing the same thing. This uh, repairs nylon and canvas, technical fabrics, rubber and vinyl. So I don't really know how these differ. Um, this one comes with uh, a brush and some 3M tape. I'm sorry, not 3M, it's just uh, three foot. Three inches, excuse me, three inches of tape. Urethane uh, adhesive, yeah. All right, so just another Another smaller kit. This is a, a bigger tube, so this is nice. It does come with the actual brush. So, all right, not bad. Let's see what else we have in here. 
All right, Vigilant Trail Survival Sewing Kit. So here's a dedicated sewing kit. Let's break into this and see what is involved. All right, so we got, there's the parts list. So you can see exactly what's in there. I see some bobbins in here. I see a little thimble. <clears throat> Let's see, warning, needles are sharp. <laughs> no duh. If you don't know needles are sharp, you probably shouldn't be trying to sew something. Uh, use caution when changing. Do not hit with hard objects. Okay, cool. This is pretty interesting. So we got, there's our bobbins. I think they're called bobbins. We got a couple extra buttons, black and white. We got some, uh, hello, just drop those. We got some pins. We have a little pair of folding scissors in there. I'm trying to see what that, um, hello, just drop some zip ties. We got zip ties as well. Always good to have a zip tie. I want to see what this is. Oh, and the pins too, there's curved pins, which I actually don't have. I was going to get those recently. Big pack of them at Walmart. Those curved pins are very good. That's actually, God forbid you ever have to do your own, you know, stitches, <laughs> field stitching. That would be helpful. Yeah, I want to see what this is, because that looks foreign to me. My wife does some sewing stuff here and there. She'd probably know what this is, but I do not. Um, so let's see. Looks like maybe that's the handle, and the other pins are the sewing needles, perhaps. Yeah, that kind of looks like what it might be. Hmm. Let's see. Yep, that's what that is. Okay, so this works just like a chuck inside of a drill or something. So when you screw it down, it just tightens that in. So you can put your individual pin in there and then you have like a handle for it. Interesting. Okay. So that is that. I'll put all this stuff off to the side. Put it back in this little container later. What is this? The Stronghold Haywire Clamper. That's what I was just looking at. So let's see. Let's see how this works. Oh. Ooh. That's interesting. Okay, this looks like... <laughs> never seen this before. By looking at the examples, it looks like you use this heavy gauge wire. And it's a system where you can basically twist it down nice and tight to secure things to each other. That looks extremely useful. I don't have the slightest clue as to how it works. But I will certainly learn because that can definitely, definitely be helpful. Yeah, you're basically taking really thicker gauge wire here. And you're using this tool to like really cinch it down and secure things together. That's pretty cool. I like that. Never seen that before, ever. We'll definitely get some use out of that. Um, tenacious tape. Clear repair tape. Better than duct tape. Better than duct tape, huh? That's a big claim. I kind of like Gorilla Tape. Although I can go back and forth. But yeah, it says it's clear. Same thing, fabrics, shoes. This company likes repairing shoes. <laughs> so there's not much to say about that. Clear tape, I have to use it to see how good it is or not. But it's nice that it's clear. And of course it gives you a bunch of different examples. You can read that if you want. Alright. What is this little tool? Fix and zip. Replacement zipper slider. So this literally replaces the zipper. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. My wife will love this. She loves stuff like this. This is totally like, this would get her uh, her excited. Um, I'm, you know, I'm looking for the knives. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the repair stuff, obviously it's important. Things break, you need to repair it. But nothing worse than having a zipper that's broken, a zipper that gets stuck. You know, sometimes it's the teeth, you know, that they're, or they're messed up, but the actual zipper part could be messed up. This looks like literally a replacement one you could pop on any zipper and basically screw it down looks like so it's adjustable teeth and coil zippers yeah you can read the back here works for zero to ten as far as zipper sizes that is pretty neat also made in the usa that's something 
that you might think you never use, but you keep it in your bag, and who knows, maybe it's your bag you're keeping it in that needs a zipper. That's cool. I like that. Again, never seen that before, so we got a lot of, a lot of new stuff. Alright. Microcord dispenser, Atwood rope. Oh, huh, okay. So this looks like a thinner cord, but it's a dispenser. Has a little cutter in there, so you can take whatever length cord you want and just quickly cut it off. That's pretty cool. Very nice, also made in the USA. I like it. Yeah, it's very straightforward. Just a, a bunch of cords, 125 foot, 100 pound test, and but it's on like almost like a tape dispenser. So that's pretty neat. Definitely find a good use for that. All right, uh, fiber fix repair wrap. Strong, 100 times stronger than duct tape. God, man, these people are ripping on duct tape. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, this is basically just to wrap up anything, it's supposed to repair it. They're showing a, a copper pipe here, that'd be pretty amazing if that really did keep that from leaking. Um, same thing, garden hose, they got a, jeez, if your fishing pole broke in half, I don't know if i trust that. Better be pretty strong. And what's the third example here, your tent, tent stake breaks? Yeah, pretty interesting. One roll, it's a one inch by 40 inches. And what they say it was? What was the, uh, oh, just 100 times stronger duct tape. That's pretty cool. Again, just something to have around. I'd like to test that. I, I hate to waste it on something, but I am pretty curious how strong that truly is. So, uh, before I get to the knives, because there is a second knife in this box, which looks exciting, which I've never seen before. One knife I've had a couple of, and the other one I've never seen before. But here's 20% uh, off of uh, atwoodrope.com. Battle 20, if you guys want to use that, if you want to check out their um, their site. I was actually pretty familiar with uh, Atwood stuff. Someone told me a bunch of times when I got, I had one video where I opened some paracord and they said, oh, that's the Atwood company and tell them the whole deal. So I know all about them. But yeah, pretty cool. A little coupon code. So, the knives. First, the knife that I first saw, which I've had, I think I had three of these at some point. It is a Cold Steel Pocket Bushman. Now, now, when I first saw this, I had two memories. The first one is this thing is hard to beat. It's hard to, you're not going to break this knife. However, extremely, extremely difficult lock. From what I remember from this knife, I mean, when it's, when it's um, open and locked, you actually have to pull the lanyard. Let me, let me break it open. Let's, uh, let's see. I got to show you this. I can't be talking about it in the package here. I got to, got to give you a demo. All right, so Pocket Bushman. It is a little uncomfortable with the, it's just one solid piece of metal that's folded over. Um, but it is incredibly strong. I've used this for all kinds of tests in the past, but how the locking mechanism works is this entire back piece, it pulls out to disengage the lock. All right, and actually they, who knows, maybe they fixed it. That seemed a lot lighter than I remember. All right, there's a thumb stud which looks a little bit better for righty. It sticks out a little more, but it is swappable. If you're left-handed, you could probably swap it so that the longer stud's on the left side. But uh, yeah, let's try this again. Oh yeah, they, they fixed this. They definitely fixed that because it used to be incredibly difficult. You had to like basically go like this uh, to get this apart. They must have used a much, much weaker spring because that's a lot easier to close. All right, so yeah, so you pull that and then that disengages the lock. Now what's interesting too is that if you didn't have the uh, lanyard on here, they do have jimping on the bottom and the back so you can pull it and disengage without the, the lanyard, but the lanyard makes it a heck of a lot easier to do. So that is, that's pretty cool. And there's a set screw here which you can loosen, slide over and tighten and I believe that prevents it from pulling out. But you're not going to accidentally close this knife ever. But yeah, I probably, uh, the videos are probably still online, but I have uh, many videos with this particular knife. So pretty cool to see a, a pocket Bushman again. Definitely a blast in the past. So the last knife, which I have not seen before, is a Black Scout Survival uh, Feather Stick Nesmuk in D2. It's funny, I just posted a video on the Braza Bro EDC and uh, 
the little knife and, and someone said like D2, why does everyone use D2? There's so many awesome steels out there. Yeah, D2 is pretty good. I, I agree, there's a lot of other steels out there, but there's a reason everyone's using D2. <clears throat> so um, here's the specs right on the back of the box. Black Scout Survival, I know he has a YouTube channel. I don't personally subscribe to him, but I have used the uh, the flashlights from, uh, from I think it was WowTac, uh, made those uh, lights for him, and uh, they were pretty good. So we'll see what this knife is all about. I do like Nesmuk design knives. They have that big, broad blade that kind of upsweeps. <clears throat> oh, I'm very happy to see its size. I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger, even though I clearly see the box it's in. This actually looks pretty unique color-wise. So there's the, uh, the design, which is extremely useful. It's weird because I almost want to you know, do a karambit thing with my pinky, but that's not going to work. Um, it is very comfortable. I know it looks kind of funky. I will say I am not a fan of the color combos. There's a, uh, basically a light tan cream color. Looks like maybe it's Cerakoted or something, or powder coated, the entire, you know, blade. And then the handles are green with like a wood, like a wood grain pattern in blue. So, I think the knife is really cool. It's super comfortable. You, you, I mean, your hand really fits in there very, very nicely. Locks in, pretty deep finger choil and that jimping. Uh, but yeah, the colors are definitely not my, <laughs> not my style there. It's just a weird combination. But hey, usable knife is a usable knife. I wouldn't care if it was uh, pink. Uh, pink and purple tie-dye. Wouldn't make a difference if it's actually usable, but just, you know. The first thing we think of when we look at knives is how they look, right? So this is uh, definitely going to be a good user but uh, yeah those colors just I wouldn't mind wearing it down a little bit and taking that finish off so there's the uh, the sheath I do like the the newer tech locks there we go I'm trying to get that to focus so these are the uh, the new tech locks which I really like I think I showed this in another video but it literally has an on off all right so you put it on then you can actually push this piece down which releases this so very cool and you could switch it over so it won't unlock so very, very awesome carry system. And yeah, really, really cool knife. Just uh, the colors, man. The colors are throwing me off. Not liking the colors so much. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm not sure who who makes these. Like who's manufacturing for him. Because I don't see a brand. Just, just the logo. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Blast of the Past knife a bunch of stuff to fix things which is very cool a lot of these things i really really like um i'll definitely use most of this stuff like the tape some of the things might like go in a bag and just sit there for a couple years not being used but some of the things i might just use around the house it doesn't necessarily have to go into a survival bag or, or some kind of a preparedness bag i mean day-to-day -day life things break you need to fix them you know uh, i have a feeling i'm gonna end up using that that uh the zipper pretty soon I, I kind of feel like I have something that has a, a stubborn zipper on already but anyway that's all that's this month's battle box let me know what you think down below overall I have to give this a big thumbs up so thanks for watching guys hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you soon take care